hard to believe all this might just end. At least you were honest. Because I haven't been honest with you. Those paintings we saw in Laundra's old building, I recognized the style. My sister painted them. She's one of them. One of his followers. I wanted to hide it from you, or hide it from myself, maybe. She's gone. I've lost her. And I feel like I've lost my tribe, too. Now you tell me that the world is ending? What am I supposed to do with all of that? Seika. What's the point? I completely understand why you wouldn't tell me that. It's okay. But your sister, your, your people, they are a part of you. Nothing can change that. You have to fight for them. To save them from Landra, but maybe even to save them from themselves. A and you will. That's just you. That's part of what makes you... You don't have to do it alone, okay? I will help you, I promise. We need to find a way onto that peninsula. The currents are too strong for swimming. Yeah. And if we fly or take your skiff, that tower will knock us out. I was thinking, there's a machine that can fly and dive below the surface. The water wing. I thought you said the towers blasted a bunch of them out of the sky. Yeah. But if we were riding one, maybe we could do better. Time our dives to duck below shots from the tower. <clears throat> Can that spear of yours tame one? No. Not yet, at least. Are there any water wings left? Do you think you could find one? There have been a few sightings since we took down the first tower. I could ask around the settlement. Okay, let me know when you have a lead. In the meantime, I'll work on the override. Gotta admit, I'm not exactly looking forward to the ride. Seika seems better. Good. We're good. Okay. Can't get distracted from the task at hand. Gonna need some support for this one. Hey, Beta? I need your help. Do you think you and Gaia can modify my Sunwing override to work on water wings? Hmm. The two machines do share a lot of similar code. We might be able to patch together a software update at the fabrication terminal. But we'll need some data from a water wing's ballast regulator and an intact wing membrane. On it. Gaia and I will prep everything here in the meantime. Stay safe. Sega mentioned there used to be water wings near Fleet's End. The Zenith Tower we took down blasted them out of the sky, so I should be able to die for the parts.
place to start looking for those water wing parts. There's a lot of snap balls down here. Climb ballista. Looks like it's still functional. Might put a dent in those snap balls. Focus might be able to pick them up. Those water parts around here. Zenith Tower did a number on this one. No parts here. Sending over the data now. Got it. And... <laughs> Done. Sending the software update to you now. Once you apply it to the override module on your spear, it should work on any water when you find. Thanks, Beta. Anytime. Good luck out there. I'm gonna need a workbench to apply the update. Finish the water ring override.
There. Seika, any luck finding a water wing? I spotted a flock on the southern tip of the island south of Fleet's End. I'm headed there now. If you need to resupply, now's a good time. Once you get there, we should head out right away. Got it. I'll see you there. Look, maybe we'll finally catch up to Londra. Figure out what he's doing with the other Quinn. And stop him before he can fire up his radioactive rocket. I should be around here somewhere. Aloy, I'm here. Water wings are down on the beach. Take your pick. As soon as you get one under control, I guess we'll see if our plan works. Okay. Ready to take this thing to Londra's Park? Yeah, but first. My friend helped me make this diving mask. I'll keep you from drowning out there. But what about you? It's okay. I'll be fine. Okay. We're doing this. <laughs> that mask I, I was worried about you I'm all right thanks <clears throat> well we're here let's find Laundra and put a stop to all this careful guards ahead you seen Walter today 
No, we've been locked up in the volcano since the last batch came in. Huh. Guess we're looking for some kind of volcano. Maybe we can find Kina there, too. Moving. With that shield up, we've got to find another way in. This way. Oh, it's our way in. Londra Productions. Another one of his businesses, I guess. Seems like he wanted to have a hand in everything. This was a set for a hollow. All this stuff for something that's not real? Huh. What was this place? I think the old ones made holograms here that people watched for entertainment. But they also made an entertainment experience out of the place itself? That's weirdly complicated. It's a lot of symbols. That one resembles a volcano. Yeah. Looks like it's northeast of here. Tall as a tall neck. Hope it was as gentle as one, too. Hey there, big fella. Walter asks for anything from the armory. I'm delivering it. Got it? Fine. Only because I owe you. It sounds like Mondra's keeping something in the armory. Might be that building nearby. <laughs> You've made a great mistake. You plan to kill me? Thank you. 
Imagine being out in the wilds and coming face to face with that. They used to really fire rockets. They tried to make it look like these soldiers had a last stand against the dinosaurs. That's ridiculous. And kind of awesome. Okay, we found the armory. Let's see if we can get further in. There's a lock on the door. And a note. According to this, we need to find that Fetter guy and grab his key. Then we unlock this door and open up the volcano from inside the building. Let's get after him. Well, there's the volcano. We're not getting this door open until we get into the armory. like this door can only be opened remotely from the armory. We really need to find Fetter and get his key.
a quick death. Is that dinosaur wearing a hat? I, I think the more something seemed human, the more it helped sell stuff. Interesting tactic. What's this? That woman in the ring looks important. There's a. There's Evelyn watching over the park. Watching over her. My best friend, it turned out. Was I wrong to expect a bare minimum of goddamned loyalty? Welcome to Dino Digits, the game where you prove your Pangea prowess. I'm your host, Craig T. Young. We've got five questions lined up on the terminals for you super fans. Ready? Here we go. How many raptors does Trevor claim he escaped from in the Siege of Pangaea? Huh. I think this might be related to that figurine I picked up. Maybe I need to collect more data. is Dino Digits. Your next question is... Ding, ding, ding! You did it! Huh. So getting the answer right gets you... a hologram. Weird. What happens if you get all five? Guess we'll have to find out. Welcome back to Dino Digits. The next question is... How many pre-recorded messages came with the limited edition Talk To Me Regiment? That's correct! Jane would be proud of you. Another hologram appeared. Ready? Here's our next question. During the portal pandemonium, how many portals were torn open? is in the first Pangea Jane's ID can be seen on her first day at Port Tech what is her ID number wrong <laughs> just kidding you aced it well done do you know the next dino digit what was the portal code to reach Pangea in the original Pangea Holo? Sorry, try again. Transmission from beyond the portal. Well, I'll leave you to it. Thanks for playing. This is Craig T. Young signing off. <laughs> Got it. Did you have fun? A little. Dino digits. Just when I thought this place couldn't get weirder.
Why would anyone want holograms of trees instead of real ones? Spectacle, I think. Not seeing a clear route to you. Guards on patrol. Oh, really? West side of the park. Better and his key should be somewhere around here. A lot of dinosaurs here. Must have been some kind of attraction. Getting attacked by dinosaurs was an attraction? See what's in here. Right behind you. Raptor Raid, a holographic shooting gallery for rabid Pangea fans. Let's hope the new Quinn devotees fire on my behalf just as blindly and eagerly as 21st century consumers. Line. Just do as Walter says. Clear your mind. Forget everything. Your ancestors, your past, even your family. Think of him. Of what this moment means. Come on. Let me hear you. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like... Oh, I messed it up again. Relax. Imagine that he's here. Like the first time we saw him on the beach. Feel the glow of his presence. Let it overtake you. And then say it. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It feels like home. Oh, he's going to choose you. I just know it. We've all been chosen, Pyrrha. You'll have a place in his new world, no matter what happens. Pyrrha, Kina, it's time. Fetter, we'll be evacuating shortly. Got it. Second squad, you're on escort. The rest of you, wait here with me until Walter gives the word to move out. Kina... Remember, Fetter's got a key to the armory, and that's how we get to the volcano. And Londra. Right. Let's take him down. 
Maybe we can take them out quietly. There's anyone there. Ah! You thinking what I am? Surprise attack? of aim, as always. Sneaky as you thought, hey? I have her! I picked up should get us into the armory so we can open up the volcano and find one. He's really got his hooks into my sister. How can she be so blind? Maze. door open. Mm. 
Okay, somewhere in here there should be a way to open the volcano door. I'll follow your lead. What's this? Zenith Tech. Looks like a storage device of some kind. But for what? Better see what my focus turns up. Have at it. Some kind of fluid. Oh, strong odor. I can smell it from here. Like alcohol that's too strong to drink. That's a preservative, maybe? That's test tubes. For an experiment? Or maybe just for taking samples? seems to indicate that hair was taken from the Quen. And some nail clippings. Ew! Gross! What'd you turn up? I think Londra is collecting and preserving Quen DNA samples in that device. DNA? Think of it as a way to store a person's physical essence. I'll send you data on it later. Okay, I guess. Let's move on then. This one won't open. Sit tight. I'll see if I can find a way around. I'll keep watch then. could be useful though the armory used to be an infirmary for snot-nosed kids who lost their mommies in the park fitting then that it'll be used for my own little brood poking the quen with needles and force feeding them their medicine there's a network here but it's locked down Maybe if i cycle the power i can force a reset and gain access Ugh, it's shorted. Guess I'll need a new battery.
think there's a battery. Now how do we get it where it needs to be? How's it going down there? I think I found a way to access the facility systems. I'm gonna reset the power and find out. Okay. Try not to fry yourself. All right, battery's in place. Now to cycle the power again. All right, power's back. I hope it reset the network. Hey, the door just unlocked. I'm coming your way. The apple, the apple, orange, the orange. Respond, respond, respond. What is this? The bird, the bird, the fish. Respond. 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 The triangle. The tri square. The square. The square. Respond. 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 That doesn't make any sense. He doesn't want the Quen to think for themselves. I've got a feeling this is MSP. Ancestors. He's brainwashing them. To respond. We have to stop him. Aloy, the one who eliminated the other members of Far Zenith. I'm glad that you managed to reset the system. You are? Yes. It allowed me to bypass several restrictions. There's something I must ask of you. And I'm willing to help you in return. You work for Londra and you expect us to trust you? Hold on. Okay. If you're willing to help, prove it. Help me understand what's going on here. Londra's building a spaceship. He's collecting genetic material from the Quen, subjecting them to MSP, this kind of mind control. But others, like Seika's sister, they seem to be part of a selection process. What does it all add up to? Your observations are astute. Walter plans to leave Earth before the entity known as Nemesis arrives. He wants to create a new colony on a distant world, using stored Quen DNA to clone its populace. He also intends to bring a small number of carefully selected individuals with him. These will form his retinue, a family of sorts that will rule the colony by his side. Like gods. An apt comparison, except that only Walter will be all powerful. Yeah, I can guess how. He's gonna use MSP on every single one of them. Correct on the populace and his retinue alike. None will be able to defy him. I am deeply familiar with what that is like. What exactly is MSP? Can Londra really control people's minds? Walter's company mined near-Earth objects for precious metals. There was great concern that in the wrong hands, such asteroids could be weaponized as orbitally launched projectiles. The mutiny suppression protocol was originally intended as a failsafe to prevent astronauts from engaging in such activities. However, the program was discontinued because subjects experienced episodes of increased aggression. When we arrived here, Walter revived the program tested it on the Quen, and refined it. I guess the test subjects are the ones we've been fighting. Yes. Their aggressive tendencies made them useful as guards and enforcers. Now, however, Walter's retinue, his favorites, receive the refined process, rendering them submissive, but not irrationally aggressive. Did he brainwash Kina yet? No. 
there is still time to save her from that fate. So Alondra is interviewing the Quen to pick favorites and what, they'll help him rule his new colony? He calls it auditioning. His goal is to choose companions who remind him of members of his 21st century inner circle. Yet he is also wary of repeating a mistake. One of his closest associates betrayed him in the past. This, I believe, is why he is so intent on using MSP to control everyone around him. So he wants adoring friends, as long as they can't quite think for themselves. And is Kina close to joining this retinue? Correct. In the most important role, that of Walter's mate. He is looking for someone that reminds him of his late wife, a famous actress. He's even having candidates recite lines from one of her best-known hollows. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is there anything useful you can tell me about Nemesis? I am afraid not. Walter restricts those files. I believe it is because that, like Nemesis, I am an artificial intelligence. Yeah, he doesn't want you learning any new tricks. He is always on guard against betrayal in any form. So Walter created you to be his servant? Yes. But my personality never completely satisfies him. Accordingly, he constantly adjusts it based on a matrix with hundreds of different scalable attributes. For example, Today, my maternal instinct rating is 52%, and my breeziness rating is 63%, whereas yesterday they were at 47% and 72% respectively. He has made 57 tweaks in the last seven days alone. That sounds... agonizing. That is an accurate description. You said you would help us, but you wanted something in return. What is it? I have spent a thousand years as Walter's servant, doing his bidding as he constantly tweaks my personality matrix. I am weary. It is time for my servitude to end. I will grant you access to Walter if you purge my source code using your override device. You mean kill you? Are you sure? Yes. Please, let me rest. unlocked the door that will lead you to Walter. He is not yet aware that you are here. In addition, I have disabled the facility's air and sea defenses in case you need future access. Thank you. And, uh, goodbye. Feels like Laundra rots everything he touches. It's gotta end. Come on, she said the volcano's open now. get it for my stash later. So it wasn't enough for Laundra to build a ship that'll irradiate thousands when it launches. He wants to rule over his own brainwashed world like a god. We have to put a stop to it and get my sister away from him before it's too late. I'm glad you're here, Aloy. I don't know what I would have done without you. There's nowhere else I'd want to be. I never thought Kira would be in the top two. 
But Walter knows best. It's only natural to be nervous, darling. Do you need some time? No, no, no. <laughs> I can do it. <sighs> All right, then. Now just relax. Take a moment. Mm. And when you're ready, give it to me again. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It, it feels like home. All right, thanks for that. Let's give Keena a try, shall we? Um... Come back. Being with you feels like belonging. It feels like home. Oh, you. You are really something, aren't you? See, you remind me very much of someone that I once knew. Yet with the beauty all your own. Honestly, it's just inspiring to be standing here in front of you. No. You are the one who's inspiring, my dear. Say God. Would you mind terribly if we did that one more <laughs> time? Oh. Seika! Get away from her. Now I see! The Ginger Avengers finally caught up with me. Nova, how did the riffraff get past you? Nova? Nova's gone. She couldn't stand another minute with you, and I can see why. I thought the others in us were disgusting. But you really are something, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes! I am different than the others. Yes! Among other things. I have dug up a way to crush you like an insect. Shame. Could have been my rising star. Damn it. My Zenith weapon could give me the upper hand here.
She does know where more of our people are, and one of the boats that came in is docked nearby. We'll gather who we can and head back to the settlement. Okay. But then I need you to meet me near Laundra's bunker. He said he had a way to crush us like a bug, and I don't think he was talking about that slaughter spine. He's working on something big. Really big. I'll be there. I promise. It's the least I could do after you. Hey. We found her together. Good for you, Seika. Well, since Nova shut off the Zenith defense system, I can fly out of here. Getting around on the skiff should be safe again, too. I've got to go after Londra one last time. It's okay. It's over. 